Hey, how are you doing? This is WebDeb, DebDeb, and let me show you a package for React called React Toastify. This is a quick and simple package to implement pop up notification in your React project, which looks something like this. With that said, let's get started. Now, to get React Toastify, you need to go to npmjs.com. Then, in the search bar, search for React Toastify. You can click on the first option and if you don't see this then you can go to in the description down below and there will be a link which will take you right here now to install this all you need to do is just click here to copy this text let me do that again i think i copied it and go to your project press ctrl tilde to bring in your console and then just paste it here now if you're not using npm and actually you're using yarn and go down here and you can just copy yarn add react toastify paste it there and then hit enter and once it is installed we are good to go now by the way this is a simple project in which these two are basically just style components which i am using for styling this website if you want to know more about style component let me know in the comment section down below and i'll make an in-depth video on it now if you want to implement React Toastify, all you need is a Toast container, which when we implement it like this, will render our Toast notification. A Toast function, which uh, we can use to write our Toast notification as well as style our Toast notification. And by the way, this is also used to style it. And this will set a specific style to all the notification. And this is for individual notification. And then we need our React Toast CSS for style. So now with that said, I will just copy this, Control C, and then just import it right here. That is all we need to do to import it. And then, first of all, I'm just going to copy this Toast container and always put your Toast container at the end. I don't know why it's... Uh, this also does it like that, that's why I'm just doing it, but I don't know if it doesn't break the software, it's, it's fine. So I'm just doing that. So now we have implemented our toast container. Now let's have a simple toast notification. For that, I'm using this button called notify, which when clicked, I want to send a notification. So for that, I'm just going to do on click, on click, and then we'll have a function called notify, which I'll just go down here and write const notify is equal to an anonymous function where i will just call this toast toast and inside the bracket what we need to do is write a string which will get rendered so now once i click on it uh, this should get printed so let's see if it works or not and here you go it works now what you need to do is if you want to style it instead of just going here and testing out everything what you can do is just go here down here you'll see a documentation the fun thing is that there's something called a playground here what you can do is you can just change anything up and then just copy this either this to change individual notification or this to change the whole container that contains the notification so let's say i don't want it to be on the top right i want it to be at the center i can just go here and then click here to see if it comes at the center or not i don't want it to be the default so i let's say i want to see how the success looks i can click on success click here and hey now i have the success if i'm happy with it i can just copy this and i'll just go here and instead of this i'll put it here and just say wow successful and now if i go back here click on it my job is done the only problem with that is that the theming does not work let me show you let's say i want it to be dark and if i click on it it is the dark theme right but let's say for safety i just copy and paste both of them so i'm just going to change this toast container to have that dark mode as well as change this container to have that dark mode as well 
both of them changed. Uh, I think I made a mistake. My bad. Okay. One more time. Fuck. <laughs> Let me just go back and copy that. Alright. Both of them changed, right? But if I go back here, click on it, I won't get dark mode. And the easiest fix is that if you want to implement dark mode or any theme in all of your notification, then just go here and write theme is equal to and dark. And if I now click on it, I will get the dark theme. By the way, there is also another theme called colored, which will look something like this. Got it? Warning will look something like this. You know, something like this and so on, right? I can also implement that here by just writing colored, C-U-L-O-R-E-D, colored. Click on it, save it, go back, click on it. I have my colored thing. Now, you can change anything here. For example, let's say I want it to be on the, let's say, top left. I don't want it to be anything. I just want it to be info. I just want it to be cover, covered. And if I click on it, now it will come at the left and it works i don't want it to last for five seconds that's too long let's say i want it to last for two seconds i can click on that and now it will only last for two seconds i don't want the animation to be or the transition to be too bouncy this is a bit too bouncy instead of that i want it to flip i can do that as well right i don't want this progress bar can you see that this progress bar i hate it I can click here, there won't be any progress bar anymore. So everything else, you can do it from right here. Just remember that you have to implement dark mode right here. By the way, if you want to change dark mode individually, all you need to do is, let me just copy this. One of them will be colored and the second one, let's say it's an error. We'll say, wow, what a error. And Right after the comma, you'll see a curly bracket in which you just need to write theme is equal to, and let's say dark. Now what's gonna happen? Wait, I need to put a comma. Now what's gonna happen is only this one will be dark and every other will actually be colored version. Uh, let me have one more, I think. Well, I need to have the warning as well. Warning, wow, well, so. And whatever. So, if I do this, so this will only change. And if you want to individually change it, uh, this is how you do it. If you want to globally change it, this is how you do it. So, just to show you, and voila, the only last one is in the dark one. So, with that said, thank you for watching. I hope you like the video. Smash the like button, hit subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.